welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be another jewelry haul. I have a lot of random pieces. I'm gonna be showing you some handmade earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and they're all different. So in this video in particular, it was very important for me to capture the simplistic look versus like the chunky, edgy, whimsical look because everybody has their own different style. And I think the coolest part about all of my pieces is that they're made for everybody and you can dress them up, dress them down, wear them casually, you can go out with them. In this video, you're gonna see simpler pieces such as this long chain feather necklace. I have wrap around bracelets like this. And then I'm also gonna be showing you a bunch of different earrings that I made. So I'm really excited for this video. Let's jump into it. First up, we have this little birdie here. As you can see, I wire wrapped each glass bead individually on here, and I used 20 gauge wire for that. The last necklace that I made was a different color variation, but it sold pretty quickly. How cool is it that birds represent peace and harmony? I used beads that looked like sea glass because I wanted to give it that ocean vibe. Ocean just really reminds me of fresh starts and new beginnings. This is what it looks like on. It's just so pretty. I started making longer necklaces because I've had a lot of requests for them. If you're anything like me, you love layering necklaces. I think this piece would also look good with green. Next up, we have this piece of jade that I wire wrapped. So I actually found this piece when I was going through my supplies and I was brainstorming on creating different pieces. If you're the kind of girl that loves green or green looks good on you, this piece is definitely for you. It reminds me of grass, I like it. Not to mention it's very shiny. This is what it looks like on. Since this is a longer chain, this necklace would also look very good paired with others. It was kind of hard to get a good close-up shot of this because the sun was starting to blind me. Definitely not complaining about sunshine though. Next up we have this beautiful gold feather piece. At my last vendor show, I had a lady come up to me and she's like, oh, I noticed a theme in your items. And I was like, oh, really? What's that? And she's like, I noticed you have a lot of feathers. And I really didn't realize it, but I do. That's because I love them. I mean, have your eyes fixed on those dreams and the sky's the limit, baby. Spread your wings and fly. Next up, we have this sterling silver bracelet. Now this bracelet actually matches a choker necklace that I did in a different haul. I'll put the link in the description below. Each bead was individually wrapped onto this one. I used blue tiger eye, glass beads, and fluorite. Next up is my favorite piece of this entire video. And no, it's not necessarily a choker necklace. However, if your neck is skinny enough, you can definitely use it for that. This is actually a wraparound bracelet. I used blue tiger eye, fluorite, opalite, moonstone, jade, glass, and metal beads in this piece. I'm a huge fan of stars and moons. I'm honestly obsessed with them and this piece is just perfect for a little whimsical vibe. I actually named this bracelet Winter Solstice because it reminds me of winter. Pictures and videos just don't do it justice because it's so sparkly. My goal for this next bracelet was to create something different and I definitely did that. I found this pack of charms that I had and I had these little titanium octopuses and I just had to buy them because I thought they were adorable. My favorite part about this bracelet is the charm because based upon where you tilt it, it changes color. I used hematite, glass, and metal beads and not to mention there's an adjustable chain on this bracelet. So you can choose how tight or loose you want it to fit. Next up we have these little owl earrings. I love how their little bellies look like opals. The green glass beads that you see have a little bit of a purple tint to them, so that makes them really neat. Next up, we have these little earrings here that I wire wrapped. I used 16 gauge copper wire to wrap these. The purple beads that are attached to these have some blue hues to them. Not to mention they are glass beads. These are a little bit different than what I normally create, but I've had a lot of requests for smaller earrings. For these earrings, I was aiming for a tribal vibe. I used bone and glass beads, and the stones that I used are amethyst points. I call these earrings pretty in pink. The rose charms are enamel, and I used glass beads on these. As you can probably tell, the beads have a metallic finish on them, which make them glisten a lot more. Here are another pair of earrings that have a tribal look to them. The beads were individually wrapped using 16 gauge copper wire, and I also hammered the bottom. 
Next up are these little mushroom earrings. I actually have necklaces to match these that are also available on my website. The glass beads were individually wire wrapped by hand using 16 gauge copper wire. These earrings are also inspired by the tribal theme. I used glass and tiger eye beads on these. And I used a 20 gauge copper wire to individually wrap these. I don't know what it is about green and brown, but I feel like they make a really nice pair together. These earrings are a bit on the longer side, but if you got a long giraffe neck like me, you're set. <laughs> on this pair of earrings, I took more of a simplistic approach. I used glass beads and 20 gauge copper wire. Last but not least, we have these butterfly earrings. As you can tell, the wind was blowing and it gave me anxiety because it reminded me of <laughs> when the wind blows the fisher lures and they get stuck in the tree. <laughs> Needless to say, these earrings are very lightweight and they want to fly away like actual butterflies. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed these pieces as much as I did. I hope that there's stuff that you think is cute. Let me know in the comments section what one's your favorite or what kind of style or vibe that you go for just so I can kind of get an idea and hear from you guys because I'm, I'm honestly intrigued and I'm really interested to learn what you guys like and what your style is and kind of like, I don't know, tell me something crazy about yourself or something that's interesting about you because I like to learn about other people. If there's anything that you liked in this jewelry haul, there's a link in the description below. Otherwise, you can go to my homepage and my website's on there. It's www.rockinbakken.com. All of these pieces are for sale on there and check out the piece of cake. You just add to cart and check out and it's on its way. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed these pieces as much as I did. Peace out, Cub Scout. <laughs>